you did. Extremely sorry for uh, the changes in uh, time. The, am I audible to everyone? Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Ron. Thanks, Kalita. Okay. Today we will discuss about uh, packages and interfaces. Okay. Uh, the first session, that is uh, now, we will discuss only about packages. And then uh, in the evening session, uh, we all know, right, uh, 8 to 10 we have uh, one more session, okay? In that session, we will try to understand uh, about uh, interfaces, okay? Let's get started. So last class, we learned about inheritance, so the complete, uh, uh, I mean, like, uh, we understood the, the basics of inheritance and we did some uh, programs also, right? So let's uh, start with packages and interfaces. So just a brief introduction to packages and interfaces. So packages are nothing but containers for your classes. Okay, they define not only uh, containers for classes, they define what is called as namespace, right? Namespace is nothing but uh, uh, it defines different namespaces where you can keep class with same name in different packages. Okay, that is what is called as your uh, namespace compartmentalization. Okay, and also packages packages can be stored in uh, hierarchical manner okay we will see how that is done okay and uh, also we can import packages as well as import packages and package uh, classes within that particular package okay uh, individual class if you want to import you can import individual class uh, or if you want to import all the classes within a particular package, that also can be done by by using the exclusive command, that is import command. Okay. Also, we we can uh, uh, create. We know that uh, methods are interfaces to a particular class, right? So all public methods are interfaces to a particular class. So in our last class, uh, we learned about uh, abstract method. Abstract method is nothing but a method which is just declared. You don't define any particular uh, definition or you don't provide any logic for uh, that particular method. Just you declare it without any body, right? So similar to uh, abstract classes and abstract methods, we have something called as interfaces, which allow us to define an interface which is similar to classes, but only abstract method, which contains only abstract methods. Okay, the implementation depends on uh, the classes which implement those uh, interfaces. Okay, all the methods that are defined within that particular interface must be uh, like uh, they are all kind of like abstract methods. Okay, and so one important difference between uh, the classes and the interfaces is. A particular class can inherit only one class, right? We all know that a particular class at a time or a particular class can inherit only one particular class. But with respect to interfaces, a class can implement as many interfaces as it wants, okay? That is the main difference between interfaces and the classes. Okay, let's start with packages. So we know that, uh, I mean, just uh, now uh, we discussed, right? So it is like partitioning the class namespace, okay? Class namespaces we can define. So uh, we cannot, we know that we cannot define uh, multiple classes with same name, right? For that matter, uh, uh, your methods also, right? Uh, except your overriding, you cannot define the same method in the same class. Right, with all the signatures same. Right? Similar to that one, you cannot define one particular class within a package or, or uh, multiple classes with same name within a package. Okay, so in order to uh, enable this facility, so you say for example, you have created uh, one particular class, my class. Okay, uh, let me grab my pen. Say for example, uh, you are not using any packages, okay? We are using only default package, okay? We don't specify any package name when we are uh, creating classes, okay? That becomes the default uh, package. So without any name, 
okay without name the default package will not have any name so uh, today you uh, define one particular class by name i class okay next you go on uh, adding uh, uh, different different uh, classes without uh, any packages this is we are using only default packages there will be a time when uh, uh, you will uh, uh, you will come to a point there will be a point where we will not be able to define any unit names okay in say for example uh, you uh, you come up with one particular class name uh, and that or uh, what what to say is like uh, you you are uh, running out of uh, names of uh, names for particular class whatever the names that you think of that you have defined in that particular package that is uh, we are talking about default package so what about uh, uh, the, all the names whatever you can think of you have already defined okay you created classes for all the possible uh, uh, common representation combination of uh, class names so how do you create uh, I, I mean you have any other uh, uh, you want you have to create some other classes also how do you create we are at a point where you cannot uh, uh, create any other class so in that case in those cases what we do is we uh, we kind of like create different compartments okay or partition these names this is where your packages come into picture so they help us in uh, grouping classes together and putting it there, putting it in one particular container okay with this package what we can do is we can have my class in package 1 also my class in package 2 with same name okay with same name you can have package 1 or with you can have same name for class in different packages okay that is how we create namespaces by creating packages we are creating namespaces okay namespace class namespace okay class namespace we are creating class namespace so to compartmentalize so the one of the main uh, uh, this thing what is that your uh, names class names right to separate out the class names okay so in what are other things that uh, pack packages provide not only namespace uh, compartmentalizing or partitioning it also provides a visibility control mechanism okay visibility control mechanism so how that is done like classes can be defined inside classes that are defined inside a particular package so you can create classes which are uh, inside a particular package okay uh, which are not accessible by the code outside of the particular package okay also members defined inside a particular package you can also define members inside a particular pack which are visible only within that particular package or you can define uh, members which are uh, visible to everywhere that is how you control the visibility of particular members of a class using our access specifier okay that is how this adds packages add one more level of uh, access control okay so let us see how to define a particular uh, package so we define a particular package by including the package statement as very first statement It should be the very first statement inside your source file, Java source file. Okay, it should be the very first statement inside your Java source file. So, so the, whenever you specify, we will see that. Okay, whenever you specify, for example, we have a source, uh, we have a Java file uh, with name. Uh, Okay, and then package is specified. Package my package. Okay, that means this class belongs to this particular package. That is my package. 
Okay. So this is how you specify package and name of the package. So we will see the syntax also. I have mentioned it here. So as you know, it depends on namespace. If you don't specify the package statement in your class, so if I if I have not specified this as I mentioned, that will be put in your default package. Okay. Default package is nothing but a package without any name. Okay. Package without any name. So how do you uh, what is the syntax for defining a package? You specify package. This is the keyword. And you can specify the name of that particular package. So we've been using right uh, for all our classes. So for each session, so we have created one particular package, session one up to session n. Okay, is why in each session, which are the classes that we discussed, I have put those things in uh, a particular uh, uh, package. Okay, so this is the syntax for defining your package. You specify the package keyword and name of the package. Okay, so how does these things are uh, resolved in uh, resolved by Java runtime system? When uh, when you are running any uh, Java program, uh, the, how does the runtime system resolve this uh, namespaces and how does it recognize a particular class uh, that exists in a particular uh, a package okay so when you say a package and the specify the name of the package what does it mean is this package should correspond to Does correspond to a particular directory. Okay. For example, if I have package, my package, there should be a directory with the same name as my package somewhere in your uh, uh, this thing in your file system. Okay. In your file system, there should be a directory. Directory by name by name my package. Okay, it is very important the names that you specify here, here right? They are case sensitive. Okay, they are case sensitive. So uh, when you specify when you create a class, public class A public class A, this A should be residing inside this particular directory that you specify. Okay. Class A must be inside your package directory, inside your file system, inside your operating system file system. Okay. So any classes, class file, if you if you say like the dot class file, if you want to specify or if you want to specify, uh, uh, if you want to uh, save a particular source file, uh, with a specific package, you have to save those things in your respective package, okay, in the in the respective directory. So, package name mirrors mirrors your directory inside your uh, file system, okay. So, what what we are telling here is the directory name and the package name must match exactly the same, okay. So as uh, we know, we can in a particular directory we can save uh, as many files or uh, as many uh, subfolders uh, inside a particular folder, right? Similar to that one, a one package name can be used to store multiple uh, classes, okay? Multiple uh, source files, okay? Uh, or you can say like a package my package. This is a statement, right? My package, okay? Multiple classes can use the same package or same package statement so that we can save multiple classes within the same package, okay? The package statement simply specifies the classes which belong to a particular uh, uh, package. So all those uh, cl classes should be uh, inside the directory which corresponds to this particular package, okay? So the, uh, the main rule is the name of the package must match the name of 
the directory or it is other way uh, whatever the name uh, whatever the name that you specify for a particular package that name should be that name should exactly match the name of the directory or the name of the directory should exactly match the name of the package that you specify in your uh, source file okay apart from uh, single packages till now we have seen the uh, single packages right session session 1 through session n okay we have seen only one level of uh, package that is session 1 okay apart from this we have seen like uh, uh, we have we have been discussing like we can create hierarchy of packages hierarchy of packages is nothing but your uh, folders sub folders okay so similarly say for example we have uh, one particular package let's say package my package okay if you want to create another package under my package you can create package my package dot my sub package okay so the directory will be directory structure will be you will have your working directory under that you will have your my package directory okay inside this my package directory uh, my package directory or folder you will have another folder called my sub package So inside this, all classes which belong to this particular package, all classes will be there. Okay. Say for example, how so you have uh, your current working directory SRC, and under this you will have your my package, and under this you will have my sub package okay so this is a structure in which you create and if you want another sub directory of or sub package of under my package you can create one more sub uh, package like my sub package 2 okay so as many you want you can create as many depth you want you can go Yes, under my sub package, you can create my sub package or sub package or something like that. So in that way, we can create a hierarchy of uh, packages. But while creating, uh, you have to separate out while you are uh, uh, writing your package statement. You have to separate each package by a period or dot. Okay, that is what we have specified here. That, that is what is the syntax for your uh, creating package hierarchy. Okay, this is one package. Under that, we have another package. Under this package, we have one more package. Okay? It goes on. It continues. Okay? So, let us see how Java runtime finds uh, these packages and uh, the corresponding classes when we are running a particular uh, uh, Java program. Okay? So whenever you are running, uh, uh, there are three different ways in which uh, Java runtime uh, system try to identify the classes that you specify. Okay. So one is by default, the Java runtime system uses your current directory as uh, its starting point. Okay. For example, your current directory is SRC. Okay. And you are trying to run a program from SRC, and it searches what are the directories that come under this particular source directory. So whatever the directories that come under the source directory, it searches all the all the folders, subfolders, subfolders to subfolders, all those things, and tries to find out the programs on which you are trying to run. Okay. By default, starting point will be your current working directory. Okay. Current directory, current working directory. Starting point is. current working directory okay starting point is current working directory otherwise we have seen this particular thing right why we specify the class path environment variable so you can specify a directory path or path 
okay, you can specify a directory path or path. You will see what exactly this particular uh, uh, path or path means. Okay, can be specified by setting a class path environment variable. We have seen it, right? Uh, we have specified an environment variable by name class path, and in that class path, we have specified so many uh, path path to particular directory. particular directories okay apart from that we can use hyphen minus or hyphen or hyphen class path option option with our java and java c okay with our java and java c so what do you specify for this particular uh, class path option we can specify the path to Path to the package. Okay, you can specify a path to the package. So, for example, if you have a package, or if you have defined the my pack, so for the first option, right? For the first option, this my pack should be under your current working directory. Assume your current working directory is src, and my pack should be under src. This is a top level directory or parent directory of my pack. Okay. This is a directory and this is the parent of parent of my uh, my pack. Okay. So for a particular program, right? To so find out a class in uh, uh, one particular uh, path or directory. The program should be program should be executed from a directory immediately above the my, the particular package that we have specified. For example, if I have uh, a class here, a dot class, okay, or a dot Java, and you have compiled it and it generated uh, a dot class inside your my pack, okay, and you have a statement, uh, uh, it it has a, a public static void method, and you want to if you want to run this particular the uh, file you have to come to source directory and then you have to specify my type dot a okay let us uh, try these things okay let us try these things before that uh, let us see other two things also okay or that is one way or you can specify the class path okay class path to my pack Okay, it should not include my pack. It should include just the source directory till the source directory. Okay, it should include till the source directory. For example, c colon src. Okay, it should include up to this point, not my pack. Okay, and the class path must specify similarly for when whenever we are using class path and hyphen class path, it should include path to my pack, not uh, it should not include the in, include my pack as well. Okay, so you'll see that one uh, in an example. We'll see. Okay, what does that uh, exactly mean? So that's what we are specifying here uh, with last two options. That is, these two options. The class path must must not include my pack. It should include path to my pack. Okay, it should include path to my pack. So let us see those uh, examples. Okay. So I have created uh, uh, this one. What is that um, session? Twenty-eight. Okay. So I have created one particular class here. Session twenty-eight. The if you see here, what is the workspace directory? So this is the workspace directory. Okay. So that is what it says based here. Okay. So if you see, this is the uh, working direct. I mean the the workspace. Okay. Under that, I have created one particular uh, directory, core Java training. 
okay that is your this part so this is our workspace that is what is reflecting here and this is a directory for our training coach our training under that we will have one more directory called source and under that we will have one more directory by name session 28 that is what is reflected by this particular package okay as soon as you create a particular package okay say for example let me try to create a new package Okay, a particular package is created. Package test. Okay, so if we try to uh, go on level up, okay, if you see here, a particular directory is created. This is in our file system. Directory structure is created. We can check the same thing in file system. Now it is that okay. So inside that, I have created what are the packages I created. That package is created here. Okay, so it reflects the same directory structure, right? From uh, workspace. And the folder that I have created. So this is the folder that I have created. Under that, uh, uh, or you can say like it is a project. Okay, this is a project. Under that, we'll have source. Okay, that is what is reflected here. And then uh, your individual individual uh, packages, session 11, 12, 13, 14, or whatever it is. This is the package. Your project, source, and then package. Okay, that is what is being reflected here. This is your. Uh, Workspace, your project, under your project, you'll have source. Bin directory will also be there. There you'll have all the, this is how uh, your uh, Eclipse organizes your source files and uh, uh, compiled uh, binaries, okay? So this is the source. Under that, you have the corresponding package. You know, notice that the directory is created with the same name as the package name that we created, okay? Here, package, okay? And the test. Package C is uh, in upper chain. That is what we have created using. Okay. Is the same package, right? Okay. So how can we create a hierarchy of packages? So let us try to create one uh, package. We know that uh, to create a hierarchy, uh, we have to uh, separate each package or sub packages by a dot operator or dot uh, period. Okay, so uh, let us see. Okay, it created a package with name com dot vikram dot test. Okay, com dot vikram dot test. So let us go here and see what exactly happened. Okay, so we have com under that we have Vikram under that we have test directory okay if I want so there are different ways in which you can uh, package representation flat or hierarchical so you can select whichever you want okay hierarchical uh, so if you want you can create particular class new class what you can do is, so Pawan is asking a question, it is, uh, can we have two packages in single Java file? You mean to say package statement like this?
no you can you cannot have like this right you cannot have like this right so it is like uh, you are specifying or you can say like uh, 27 you cannot specify creation of packages uh means i did not get your uh, question from yeah you can ask your question i will yeah and the like uh, i was just asking can we create like uh, see all this program in a public class everything is getting stored in practice session 28 right correct yeah so i was just asking can we create one more package in the same class and this in the same uh, java file uh no still i'm confused yeah, are yeah. you asking like a, uh, uh so you want to create one more test package class inside some other package that's what you are asking no 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 no, no. Uh -huh. i want to create create one more new package is that possible okay. like yeah, uh, see, i have created so many packages right not not than this in this particular test package class right in this java file uh -huh. i create okay. one more package this is package session 28/1 slash okay i create one more package there uh, is it possible like this continue this is what yes. i said right something like right? this yeah yeah okay so here what what is happening here say okay, i'll i'll tell you so the confusion is with respect to eclipse <laughs> okay so what we are doing here is say for example we are trying to create a class okay inside this particular package okay say for example okay this is just for testing Okay, okay, what it does? I have selected this particular package and then created this class. Okay, and it automatically inserted the package statement here. That is Eclipse. Eclipse does that. Okay, assume that I have used. Okay, say for example, I am creating a new file. Okay, and I am writing a sim simple uh, file. So we know that package statement should be a first statement in your uh, Java file uh, where you want to store this particular uh, class file, Java file. Okay. Okay. The so package uh, my test. Okay. Or you can say package. Okay. And okay. And then I will uh, I will just put public static void next. Okay. okay. Okay, now I have to save this file, right? Right. Uh, now I have to save save this file. Okay, but where do you save this particular file? Let me take this one. Okay. Okay. okay, so I I'll uh, tell you. So let me go to uh, the same one. Okay. Sorry. Go to this and. So this should be. Uh, let me save this file as. Mm. Because the uh, package test is a public class, okay? Okay. I'm not here. Okay, I have, I'm saving in this particular workspace, okay? Okay. Uh, workspace core Java, okay? So now. I'll go to that particular package or directory. So it is here, okay? It is, right. it is here. But what we have specified, it, it, if you want to save this file, right? It should be under my package directory. Correct. Okay. It should be under my package directory. When you are not, I mean, like when you are creating the Java files like this using some other editor other than Eclipse, Eclipse makes our life easier, developers life easier by providing all those facilities. Okay. So assume that you don't have such uh, IDEs in the data development environment, and you are creating uh, Java files like this. Okay, you are creating Java files like this. So in that case, you cannot keep this file. You cannot mean you can you if you specify package my package, and uh, when saving, you cannot save that in like uh, anywhere. Okay. Okay. You cannot save that anywhere. So if you want to save that uh, after specifying the package. Okay, 
assume that I am working in this particular uh, uh, case for example what is the default directory uh, okay let us save as okay this is the default directory or working directory for my Java classes now okay, okay. workspace core Java is my default directory or starting point for my uh, packages okay because this is a working uh, directory for me as of now okay so when you are trying to save this file like this using some other editor normal editor you have to create a, a directory with name yeah folder by name my package my package okay under that when you are saving right that becomes valid okay, okay. under this you can save it as my my package test java file okay that okay. is how uh, java identifies with package i will show you how that is done okay so yeah. let us go to that directory itself okay this directory itself let us go to this directory okay now if i if we do dir it will show package test okay let me uh, put some statement here Uh, this is a very important topic okay uh, this is very very important topic uh, because whenever uh, uh, say for example uh, you got some uh, uh, jar file we will okay. see how jar files are created java is nothing jar is nothing but java archive file uh, i'm not sure i don't remember whether we have discussed this before so whenever you are distributing your classes right or whenever you want to use some uh, libraries created by some other people they will have they will be organized in uh, uh, respective packages or so, so okay say for example if you go to uh, this one right GRE system okay so yeah. all these things right they are organized they are these are all jar files right these are all organized in respect to I mean in uh, using packages only so when you expand this so you can see the packages right yeah so these packages these packages these packages whatever the things that is needed all those things are specified here log strings okay all these things okay. so java files also when you are distributing so the package structure should match the exact directory structure right so that okay. is how these are when you unzip when you unzip these jar files right uh, mm -hmm. okay let me try to unzip this jar file okay so you can see uh, under the jre lib this particular jar file exists okay, okay. dev tools jdk 1775 jre lib okay so when you unjar this uh, resources that jar file it will create the uh, directory structure like this only okay okay it will create the directory structure now let me go to that particular part JDKs, right? JDKs, and then JRE, lib. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me not. Java uh, player. Okay. Let me take any. Okay. Copy it. Create. Okay, let's go to this. Not sure. Yeah. So it is extracting all the files that are there in that uh, a particular jar. Okay. It has extracted, and uh, you see earlier only jar was there. Mm. Okay. Now it it has created the directory structure. Okay. okay. So only all these things will have only class files when we are distributing uh, uh, our uh, Java classes, right? Java, whatever the files that we have created, we will uh, distribute only the dot class files. Okay. Not the okay. source files. Okay. okay, so that is how. So when you unjar these things, right? It will create the respective. It will create respective uh, 
direct structure and under that you will see all the classes created. So whenever you get, whenever you are using uh, this particular topic is very important because whenever you are using some other uh, jar files, right? Uh, sometimes you might find that when, whenever you are trying to compile some file using the, you are assuming, you will be assuming that uh, some uh, class file will be there in that respective directory, but that may not be there in that directory, okay? So that, that, will, that will be like uh, you, are, uh, you are using one particular jar file, assuming that a particular uh, a class is existing in that particular jar file in respect to package, but you might be using the wrong uh, jar file itself altogether. Okay, okay, then uh, how you will identify, you will go, uh, I mean you will go to that particular jar file and you can see, okay, whether that uh, class exists or not. This is a SDP class, assume that I don't have uh, RT jar, uh, I assume like JSSC has that SPD that jar class file, so I, I will be searching here, so I will be using only this one instead of RT, so we can, you can identify, class not found or some exception will come and then you can identify it and go and uh, find whether that particular uh, uh, class exists or not in that respect to jar file, okay? So whenever you are creating the class under package, right, under certain package, it just makes our life easier. Like as soon as you create a package, right, that particular folder structure will be created and uh, when you select a uh, particular package and create a class, respective class will be created under that uh, particular package, okay? So this package is nothing but your direct structure only. Com, Vikram, and uh, test will be there, and under that, what are the class that I have created? My test class that Java that will be created. Okay. Okay. Hope this is uh, clear for us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now, what we can do here is, uh, where is that? Okay. Let us take this one. So how do you compile this file? You can just say Java C package start Java. Okay, this is uh, executing command. Uh, here also, whenever you are trying to run this program, right? You can just say uh, run it. Okay. So you run it. So Java, the Eclipse knows how to run uh, this file, okay, how to run this particular file. But uh, what happens here? We'll get this error, no class definition found error, okay. So let us try to attach uh, the name, uh, package name also. This is the file we are working on, okay. So. So now what is happening, like uh, Java runtime system is not able to identify package uh, dot, package test uh, dot class file, okay, because it is inside one particular package. So let's see package dot test, that also it is not able to identify, okay, because what what is the main requirement here, so we have to, whenever we are running, we have to run that particular when we are using, right, when we are running using Java or Java C, the Java C works within, if you are within the particular directory, you can compile, okay, that uh, you can compile the Java file, okay. But while running, the, how, how you can run? You have to go one level above, one directory above, okay, and then you have to specify Java my package dot test then only you'll be able to run it. So whenever you are running, you have to uh, go one level above. Either you, when, when you are specifying class path or when, when you are specifying uh, uh, hyphen class path uh, option, right? Or is it? Uh, are you all able to see my screen? Whatever I'm sharing right now? Uh, Pavan is telling uh, his, okay. So, okay, now, now, uh, okay, 
So you are seeing the comment round right now, right? All of you are seeing comment round right now, right? Okay, okay. Okay, no worries. Yeah, so, so whenever we are running, we should always be one level above. Okay, when one level above uh, the package in which the classes are defined. Okay, this is my package. This is the directory. One level above means the parent directory. It should always be in parent directory whenever you are running. That is, whenever you are specifying class path, okay, or whenever you are specifying this option, minus class path option, you should always specify the path to my package, okay, path to this particular. Okay, whenever we are specifying uh, class path, we should specify path to the package. This is my package, right? Path is this one. Up to here, this constitutes your path. So whenever you are specifying uh, class path or class path option, You have to specify this whole path that is C user up to workspace core Java. We should not include this my package. Okay, so let us try that also. Okay, now I am under users directory. Okay, I want to run Java package. Okay, this uh, particular. Okay, the this uh, package test uh, class. So what can I do? Okay, it won't work because my current working directory is users. Okay, so how can I do that one? I can do. I can run it using class path and I can specify the whole path or path to the particular package. Okay. Okay. And then I can say Okay. Here I have specified Here I have specified the path to the uh, path to my package. So let us see what happens uh, if we try to uh, include my package as well. So, so hope all of you are able to see my screen. So what happens? could not find or load main class my package dot my uh, package test. So what is exactly happening? Can anyone tell me uh, based on uh, what are we discussed so far? Can anyone tell me what exactly is happening here? Why this is not able to recognize my package dot my package test with this particular command? Can anyone tell me? Okay. Yeah, go ahead, Pavan. One minute. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, she is telling that the package is not within that particular package. I'm not able to unmute you for one. Give me a second, okay? <laughs> Sorry, for one. I'm not able to unmute you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, the package is not within that path. Package is not within that path. Yeah, you are telling the package is not within that path. Two times, uh, Kavita is telling, two times we have uh, my package. 
No, where is the, where are two times? Uh, where is the two times we have specified? Oh, you want to say this one? So, oh, yeah, Kavita is telling two times we have specified my package. Yeah, so here we have specified my package. Here also we have my specified my package. So, so what is exactly happening is we have specified this particular path, right? We have specified this particular path. So Java assumes, Java runtime system assumes from here, go from here, this particular path, go from here. So I will be in like uh, my package. I will be in, in this particular package and I am trying to find out the same package that is my package or directory. I am trying to find out the my package directory directory or folder inside my package itself which does not exist. Right? It does not exist because all my classes reside in this particular uh, package, this folder. So I have to specify the directory above this that is up to here. Okay, then Java from here Java will start finding that is by default right we have specified by default it starts uh, uh, at the point uh, where uh, uh, from your work there, uh, working directory. From your working directory okay, from your working directory it starts so what are the uh, directory that you specify under class path, right? So from here, you start searching your class uh, packages and classes. So package, we know that it uh, reflects your uh, directory structure, okay? Directory structure. So from here, it tries to figure out whether my package directory exists. If it exists, inside that, it will try to find the respective class, that is package test. So here, what is happening? In this particular case, what is happening? It tries to go inside my package and inside my package, it is trying to find out one more directory, my package, my package, okay, which does not exist and uh, which does not exist, that is why it is, it is throwing this particular error, okay. So whenever you are running, so whenever you are running, you should always run one directory above particular package. Say for example, if you have a, a com dot Vikram dot test. Okay. So from where should I run any class within this particular test? Can anyone tell me? No, sorry, uh, maybe I might have confused all of you. So when you are specifying uh, the whole path, right, you should always be above this. So what, what exactly is happening? You should run from, say for example, our default directory, our working directory is there. Okay, current working directory. Under that you will have uh, com. Maybe I might have confused you. Under that, you will have Vikram, okay, under that, test, okay. You should run from current working directory because we are specifying the whole path here, okay. Here we have taken only one package. So Java, what Java does, it goes to, it tries to find com directory and then within com directory, it tries to find Vikram. Within uh, Vikram directory, it tries to find test package, test directory. Under that, any class if you specify here, that is say for example package test, it tries to find out that, okay. So let us try that also.
Okay, now we have this particular uh, class file. Okay, now let us try to uh, run it from. Okay, so what is the command? So let me make a small change here. So where did I save it? Okay, you come right. So it should reflect like that only. Okay. Let us try to compile this again. R is nothing but uh, I'm just specifying that's a wild character. So all the Java files uh, in a particular directory it will compile it. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Vijay, correct. So give me a second. Last part. Then what we where we go, we will go from E to this particular directory. Okay. Then we specify, we have compiled it, we specify I package. One. Okay. So okay, let us try to uh, specify uh, one more level. Okay. So what is happening here? It won't be able to find out uh, the package, so or uh, the particular class file because it is trying to find out uh, this directory structure, this particular directory structure, this particular directory structure under my package. Okay, is it possible to run this way? That is also not possible because package we have specified like this and we are specifying this particular package. This particular package. Okay. So you should always, whenever you are specifying, right, you should always specify the whole package for a particular class. This is called, this whole thing is uh, referred as. Uh, Fully qualified class name. Fully qualified class name, okay? Because you are qualifying the, the class with the entire package, whatever you are specified in this particular package, okay? Fully qualified class. So. Here, uh, in this particular, we are, we are not specifying uh, just uh, uh, the whole package which is specified here. We are specifying some part of the particular package. That's why it is saying no class definition found error. Okay. These things you will find uh, uh, like when you are actually working in real life projects, right? Uh, you can use uh, your Eclipse in your development environment, but uh, if you want to come, say for example, if you are uh, using, if you are trying to connect to your uh, Unix boxes, Okay, usually what happens is uh, most of your applications, development environments or uh, some different levels of environments, right? L1, L2, L3 or L, uh, production stage level, all those things, different level. Most of uh, them will be in uh, Unix only. Uh, most of the uh, servers will be in Unix uh, or will be running under uh, Unix operating system. Okay, so you have, from your Windows, or if you if you have direct access to those uh, or your uh, to those servers, you will not be having that. Say for example, you have uh, your system in Windows and you try to use uh, SFTP client or uh, 
some client, remote client to connect to those Unix boxes. And when you try to compile uh, this, you check out the code and you are trying to build the environment and you have to compile all those things, right? You'll have uh, uh, scripts, all those things. So when you when you want to kind of like uh, uh, compile on particular uh, specific file, okay? Those uh, In those situations, you'll end up these kinds of errors, okay? So in those situations, you should be able to figure out why, why exactly the error is, what is the ex uh, mistake that you are doing when you are trying to uh, run that particular file and uh, the error, when you see these errors, right, you should be able to figure out why you are getting these uh, errors. So it is evident here. So it is saying like under the my package, Vikram and package test one. So we are try under the my package, you have Vikram uh, directory and the my test one is also there. But that my test one does not correspond to this particular uh, package that you have specified here. You have specified only this particular package. Okay. My package is missing. So that is why this error is coming. So in such scenarios, right, uh, you should be able to figure out why uh, these errors are uh, coming and why you are not able to uh, compile or uh, run the particular Java file. So it is like uh, when I remember like when we used to learn Java, right, that time we used to face these kinds of issues. Okay, that time uh, initially in the early days, we are not able to figure out why these errors are coming. Okay, it was very funny. We used to get frustrated and uh, uh, whenever we used to try, right, we used to try without packages only because we were not able to run uh, the Java file uh, which, uh, which has uh, uh, the package specified in those files. Okay, that was a comedy. When we think about those things now, uh, like uh, it will be like we will laugh. Okay, so Pawan, you have any questions? Unfortunately, I'm not able to unmute uh, anyone. Uh, let me see. So have you uh, muted? Pawan, have you muted yourself? Okay, uh, for some reason I'm not able to unmute you. Yeah, others I'm able to uh, unmute. Okay, yeah, so that is what uh, we are discussing. So with this packages, uh, it also provides uh, a one more level of uh, access protection, okay? Classes, we, we have seen uh, multiple things, right? Uh, in um, uh, some of the in inheritance only, in the inheritance class, we have seen, we have created the classes in one particular package. And then uh, uh, we, we provided default uh, access specifier to some members, private access specifier to some members, okay, and then public access specifier to some members. Okay, default is access, uh, default is package level, okay, and uh, uh, private is specific to that particular, members are specific to that particular uh, class. And public, it can be accessed from anywhere, right? So. This default and uh, this one, one, one more level of access uh, protection is provided by this packages, okay? So that is what we have mentioned here. Classes and packages, both are means of uh, encapsulating and uh, uh, containing namespace, okay? They specify separate level, I mean, for members, they, uh, one more level of scope they will provide and uh, classes, packages are containers for classes, classes are containers for data and code. So we have seen all these things, right? Classes we specify data and code, and uh, each class will contain a set of uh, data and uh, code specific to those things. So that is why we call them as containers for uh, data and code. Uh, packages, within a particular package, we, we will have n number of uh, classes specified. So that package will be like a container for your classes. Okay. So with these packages, it addresses the four types of visibility. One is subclasses within the same package, non-subclasses within the same package, classes in different package, subclasses in different package, uh, classes that are uh, neither in same package or uh, subclasses. Okay, these are the visibilities that Java tries to address with these uh, packages and classes. Okay, so we have seen classes uh, also members. 
this is a class level these are member level okay we have a different access specifiers public private protected and default also default also right it does not have any names name associated with it protected it is as we have mentioned here it is public to any subclass irrespective of packages irrespective of packages but it is only applicable to subclasses okay for any other class it will be private okay it is like this if you specify say for example let us take one uh, yeah one let us define subclass of this Okay, so now I will specify one. Okay, so I can kind of like uh, display the value here. Okay, I can display the value here because this is protected. It is like for subclass within subclass, we can directly access it. Okay, it has uh, it is like public to subclasses only subclasses. Okay, say for example, I have another class. I will define class of this. Okay, so a class. A class through a class also I can access, but yeah. Yeah, Pawan, uh, what was your uh, question? Let's try now. The particular uh, protected so will not be able to access. Uh, let us try to create one more and test. Okay. So if you see right, if you see this, I will not be able to see I defined here, okay. 
So this gives error. This gives error, okay. So I'm trying to access this one within this, it is giving error. Why? Because protected test is not a subclass of my test class. Whereas here, here I was able to access it. With subclass, I, am, I was able to access this because I have declared I as protected. Okay, it, it is uh, public to all the subclasses irrespective of your package. Okay, even if I try to, uh, let us comment this. If I try to extend it, my test class, okay, then what up? Yeah, looks like it is uh, my test class, right? So within the package, so that will also have a package level access, I guess. Okay, I'll come back to you on this particular topic. Uh, that is uh, whether we will have uh, protected, whether we will have package, uh, it, is it package specific? I don't think it is package specific, but I'll, uh, uh, in the evening session, I will come, uh, come up with this one example, okay? So that is what uh, we are trying to do here. But uh, as we know, public is, uh, I mean, it can be accessed. Any number of public, I mean, any number is specified as public, it can be accessed from anywhere. Anything declared as private, that is class specific. And default, it is package specific. So you can uh, summarize like this. Uh, public, anyone can access, or all. Private. class level, only within the class, okay? Let me Package level. Default is package level. Protected is only subclasses. Private, class level, and public. Anyone can access it. Okay, that is for members. But what are the access specifiers that we can specify to a particular class? Only two things. That is default when you don't specify any access specifier, and then public. Okay, public class anyone can access just by importing, and then uh, default class access it can be accessed only within that particular package. Okay, outside of that particular package, we cannot access that package. Okay, and uh, so if you want to import the uh, class, right, uh, in some other cloud definition, you can use this particular syntax using import keyword. Okay, using import keyword. Using import keyword. Yeah, Kavita told the extends. Yeah, I made mistake by just typing extends. Yeah, package, you have to specify, uh, you have to specify as I showed you in uh, the command prompt, right? The whole package you have to specify. There are two ways of accessing uh, or importing the classes. One is using star and another directly specifying class name directly specifying the class name, okay? So here, for that matter, here, what you can do is, you can use star, okay? This means it includes, this class definition includes all the Java files that are under your uh, com become test, okay? Or you can specify 
my test so what what is the difference so when uh, when you are uh, when compiling right when building your file or compiling so if you have lots of uh, java files in one particular package and if you are using a number of packages which have all the uh, i mean lots of uh, uh, classes in, within each package then compilation or build time will build will be taking lot of time build time will take lot of time so also like uh, in order to avoid that that, that one you can specify you uh, whatever the classes that you are using from one particular uh, uh, package right you can specify them individually okay this is the recommended way so you can specify only the uh, classes that you are using in that particular package so even if you are using some other other class say for example dot Protected test. Okay, you can mention this way. Okay, so the name uh, name might be different. Oh. Okay, it's also, it's also giving some uh, error. So that is fine. I mean, this is how you can specify. Okay. Okay, just a second, like this. So that is how you import. So yeah, that's the end of our session. So we will see uh, interfaces in our uh, evening session. Okay. So anyone has any doubts regarding these packages? But uh, try to uh, explore more on these packages. Try to uh, do some uh, uh, this one test. Okay. Don't use Eclipse without using Eclipse. try to uh, write some classes include packages try to compile try to run those programs then you will uh, start facing issues and when you when you are trying to fix those issues you will try to i mean you will be able to kind of like understand this concept even better okay try to do try to create some uh, java file without using eclipse editor uh, use just your text pad notepad or whatever it is and uh, try to compile it from your command prompt not from your eclipse okay then you will uh, will be able to figure out whenever you uh, get any error right that time will uh, will be like uh, will think and uh, will try to find a solution to that one so then will, your understanding will be in a, a, a understanding will be better okay of these concepts but this is one of the important topics okay packages one of the important topics and we will see interfaces in the evening and then has any uh, questions regarding these things or any clarifications needed please let me know otherwise uh, we can wind up this session okay so to ask to say something yeah kavita go ahead hmm I mean, uh, how should uh, I mean, how should we name the package name? Like, it should be com dot java dot uh, package dot my package, or we should make a folder one inside, like sub folders or sub packages. No, yeah, usually uh, it is like uh, your so assume that you have your domain name as kavita uh, dot com. Okay, package name will be in reverse order. Okay, say for example, com dot kavita. That is why uh, that's how uh, the package is named for uh, specific companies. Okay, companies and all. But uh, otherwise, uh, when you are testing, right? When you are testing, you can give any name. You can give any name. I I usually give like uh, Vikram. It, it doesn't mean that uh, I have a company called uh, Vikram dot com. Okay, just for uh, my things, I just do like this. Otherwise, you can name it in any way. My package dot kavita dot or my test kavita or kavita dot it is dot something 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 uh, like uh, that. You can come up uh, with your own name. Yeah. Oh uh, no, I mean just I am saying like uh, if, what is the best practice? Like you should make like com one one package inside that some other domains we have to make or. Uh, 
we can just yeah, yeah that's what I mentioned right it is uh, yeah. I mean, if it is uh, your it, it should be in your reverse order so that is what mm -hmm. if you want to create anything you can create top level package can be com after that you can create any number of uh, packages for example com dot kavita dot lang package com dot kavita dot util package com dot kavita dot something else my package my test like that okay okay or not only this one okay not only this com there are uh, there are dependencies uh, with the dot net dot edu so many things are there right so you can create in any 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 fashion you can create if you if you are comfortable with the com go ahead with that no worries okay so here uh, i have not uh, here i have not created anything like that i just created one uh, for each session i have created one package right like that yeah yeah uh, and uh, yesterday uh, like uh, you mentioned like three uh, websites uh, for practice uh, i missed okay. out that one uh, okay yeah i will uh, sorry you can uh, try this site uh, those who have attended yeah. come in the, yeah you can try this site uh, you'll have a very good uh, exercises okay so the last one uh, edu.sg is there right that one has a uh, little challenging uh, question exercises actually so you can go i mean you can try all these things okay so then uh, okay so let me try that one okay so here you can see they have given exercises and uh, some see like this they have given okay you can try all these things try to implement those things okay so many things are there you can try all these things not only those things okay not only these things there are others also uh, multiplication table okay and these things this will be really challenging okay when you try to do this you have to try to print these values not by storing uh, these characters inside array or something by using loops right you can do all these things by proper use of your loops you can do all these things try to implement these things it will be really fun actually okay be really fun yeah, so many things are there okay yeah, any other questions you have? Anyone has any other questions? Okay, then let's uh, wind up this session and uh, we'll meet in the evening, okay? 8 to 10, okay? Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Thanks a lot for attending this session. Bye.